for Finland at the end of the day, uh, membership in the European Union was a security political decision. Uh, of course, economic uh, in the sense that we wanted be to be a part of the single market. But during the Cold War, we had certain limitations to the level of integration that we wanted to have with the West. That's why we have to establish different kinds of mechanisms like NordEFCO or the FinEFTA agreement or the EEC free trade agreement. And then finally, uh, in 1989, we were able to be ourselves and then at the end of the day, in 1995, uh, join the European Union. Russia is quite a lot more relaxed about the European Union than what it is, for example, about NATO. Uh, it's to the advantage of any country in this world to have a stable, dynamic, democratic uh, and economically viable uh, country uh, next to it. Russia is our biggest trading partner, so in that sense Russia has also benefited uh, from our membership in the EU. When we became members of the European Union, in the referendum you had 57% voting for membership and the rest against. I think the financial come euro crisis has probably had an effect uh, on the general public opinion. There was a feeling that we stuck to the rules and played by the book and then have to suffer for some countries that didn't do that. But we've been able to have quite a good and fresh debate on, on European affairs. Um, awareness of European issues has uh, been raised in, in Finland, but I wouldn't argue that Euroscepticism as such um, uh, has uh, emerged as a very strong force. But it's a welcome force to be able to discuss European affairs. Our role is probably stronger than um, ever before. Um, we're a small country and we took a decision that in order for us to be in the institutional center of the European Union, or the core, we should join the euro. Uh, and since we joined, we have been a triple A stable rated country by all the credit rating institutions. And that has probably um, helped us to punch a little bit above our weight uh, in European circles. But we're there to look for constructive and good solutions together because that's what the European Union is all about. It's there to support member states to take care of issues which they cannot take care of uh, by themselves.